On this episode of Seller Watch, we meet Bob Chap. Bob has been selling on eBay for a year. Two months ago, Bob was happily selling phones on eBay when... I was happily selling phones on eBay when I got a complaint from a buyer. The buyer complained that her package hasn't arrived yet. Wow, oh, piang eh. Estimated delivery date hasn't reached yet eh. My parcel hasn't arrived yet. Fine, it's not the EDD yet. But still, there was no tracking given whatsoever. How am I supposed to know if the seller really sent my parcel out? After she opened up her case, I can't hello. Bob, did you use validated tracking? Yeah, of course lah. So did you upload your tracking number recent to the buyer when she filed the dispute? Uh... What? Then how do you expect the buyer to know or be able to track the parcel? Correct, right? Correct or not? See, I told you, you can't track my parcel. The seller is so lazy and irresponsible. Ugh, can't deal with this. Mm. Did you get back to buyer within three business days? Huh? Why? Answer the question, man. I replied four days later because it was a public holiday, law. Means you didn't reply, lah. But I did. I got the complaint, but it was a public holiday. So I didn't reply until after the public holiday law. Aha! Uh -huh. You should follow the calendar of the listed site country. Not your country. Huh? Like that one? Uh? So after you receive the case, what do you do? After I viewed the case, the buyer said the items were not received. So I wrote an email to say sorry and ask her to thank you chop long. Hey, aha! You use your personal email. You should only reply to the buyer on Resolution Center. But that is so slow. Doesn't matter. If you do not use the Resolution Center, there is no excuse. I don't wanna. There was a strike by this Fong Fei K delivery. OT! Pay money! Fong Fei K! Raise our pay! OT! Pay money! Fong Fei K! Raise our pay! Brother, so you knew about it, but you didn't tell the buyer lah. Yeah. <sighs> Mampus. I hereby charge you with BZT. What is BZT? That's right. What has happened here is a serious case of BZT. If Bob had been more zhitong, he could have been found innocent. Sellers should always be proactive when it comes to dealing with cases. Prevention is better than cure. On the next episode of Seller Watch, we explore how Bob can do better, reform, and see the bright side.